Hey guys, it's me, Kayla, and today I'm doing a review on the book Tuck Everlasting with Connections by Natalie Babbitt. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh wow, it's running on the battery. Oh wow, so I gotta go fast. Sorry. But, so yeah. This is the book Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. So far, it's really good. I haven't finished it, but I just thought I would, like, read a page or two so you can, like, get the idea of what it is. The chapter I'm on with right now is chapter 5, and I, like, got this yesterday, so that explains that it's pretty good. Because normally I'm on page 5 by now on regular books because I don't like to read. So, yeah, like, let me read a page or two. Okay, so... Never come here before. Why, it's nice, she thought with great surprise. For the wood was full of light, entirely different from the light she was used to. It was the green and amber and alive. Quivering in splotches on the padded ground, fanning into sturdy stripes between the tree trunks. There were little flowers she did not recognize. White and palace blue, and endless, tangled vines, and here and there a fallen log, half rotted but soft with patches of sweet green velvet moss. And there were creatures everywhere. The air fairly hummed with, with their daybreak activity. Beetles and, and birds and squirrels and ants and countless other things unseen, all gentle and self-absorbent, and not in the least alarming. There was even, she saw with satisfaction, the toad. It was squatting on a low stump, and she might not have noticed it, for it looked more like a mushroom than a living creature sitting there. As she came abreast of it, however, it blinked, and the moment gave it away. See, she exclaimed, I told you I'd be here first thing in the morning. The toad blinked again and nodded. Or perhaps it was only swallowing a fly. But then it nudged itself off the edge of the stump and vanished in the underbrush. It must have been watching for me, said Winnie to herself, as and was very glad she had come. So that was page 24 of Tuck Everlasting. Okay, and I'm also going to start in anything with my videos. I'm going to try to upload one every other day, and I'm going to start reading a new book, and if you don't mind, let me go get it. It'll be really fast, but it's right there. So, BRB. And I'm back. Okay. Now that I'm back, and get my book out of my backpack. That's my backpack. Let's see if I can get you a good view with my new HD camera. Okay, like, I don't know if it's really HD or not, but that's my backpack. But right now, I'm using my computer, sadly. But yeah. So, let me get my book. And this one. Instead of reading Tuck Everlasting, since I, yeah, I have to read that in school, because I'm doing, like, a project on it, I'm probably going to read one of these books to you, Murder at Midnight or Whittington. Probably going to re read Whittington, because, like, if you're a little kid and you're watching this, I don't want you to get scared by this book, because it's about murderers at midnight, so yeah. But it's a really good book so far. Like, I'm on, like, page, what's it called? I'm on 
page. I'm on chapter 17, which is 145, so yeah. And I got this on Monday. I'm just kidding, I'm on page 145. I haven't read this yet. But it looks really good, and it's a Newberry. I mean, not Newberry. It's a AV book. So yeah. So I'll go ahead and read you the back of this if I know mine. Okay, so I'll just read you a page to get started for today. And each day I'll read like two pages, but right here it's just like a page of a map that names some places. Ooh, Ireland, I'm from Ireland. Hey. And here comes my mom. You have to talk. So, read this. Whittington meets Lady. So, it's a short page. I'm going to start out with this today. And then I'm going to pull up my word of the week. Or day. Yeah, word of the day. And I'm going to give that to you. And you guys, then I'll tell you the definition and all that. So, yeah. And I'll also have a saying so uh and tell you what i think that means to me okay whittington meets lady she was the ugliest duck he'd ever seen purplish black with splotches of white on her wings red ward skin around the neck a pink bill her eyes were bright black dots she was lopsided and lurched as she walked from the barn to her bathing place, she bobbled her neck to balance. Her feet were orange. There was a cold wind. It smelled like snow. The cat hunched under a bush. Wrapped tight with his ruff, with his ruff up. As the duck approached, the cat eased out. He was the color of old metal, broad-faced with thick whiskers and dark lines that ran from his nose to his forehead. Ooh. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to keep reading. And down his back sides. His coat was rumbled and slack. For all he was big, his paws were black. His tail was thick and ringed with black circles. It spoiled out at the end like a fox brush. Fox's brush, sorry. Sorry, oh wow. Okay, I can't speak today. Sorry. Okay, that's not part of the I'm just gonna keep reading now. Like a punch drunk fighter. He was stiff and walked low to the ground. His left ear hung, hung down like a loose flap. He wasn't old, but he looked beaten up. So that was the first page of the book called Winnington. And tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I, can't, I don't know. I'll be reading to you these two. This page. Yeah, can you read that? And, like, I'm not going to show you the book, the back, because it has my school's name on it. So, I'm not going to give out any private information. But, I will show you what it looks like, but I'll just cover up my name. Okay. And that's what the back looks like, and then, right here. So yeah, has words, but do you want to go ahead and pause that, read that, and yeah, it's a Newbury winning award. So now let me pull up the window with my sayings on it. So do, 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 do. I mean quotes, sorry. So the quote of the day is...
I don't know. So, let me look one, and I'm going to start it out with A. So, yeah. And I'm going to use... Melissa Amernick. Yeah. You'll have to excuse me if I cry. I've been teary eyed all week. The, the sadness, the joy, the fact that I'm off my parents' payroll. So, to this, this means to me that, like, if I cry, you need to, like, leave me alone and just let me be, and I will be sad sometimes, but, uh, uh and I'm, because I'm sad because my parents let go of my payroll, and that is by Melissa Amernick. She is a author, so, yeah. So, that's the quote of the day. Let me pull up the word of the day. Words and definitions. Everybody saying, hey, baby, let's go. I can dance, 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 dance. Get off the floor, cause that's my play. Start out with A today, since it's. is confusing. So let's go to dictionary or Wikipedia, whatever, but whatever. So the word of the day is going to be um what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? It's in this Okay, so you know Neil Armstrong? His brother's Alan Armstrong and he wrote that so, yeah. Didn't notice that. Um, sorry, this video is so long. I think I'm just gonna skip it today since this video is like really long. And so, yeah, look at my beauty channel, Kayla Beauty Baby One. And you'll, I'm gonna upload a Justice in Claire's Hall video to that. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. Don't forget to check in to read the rest of Whittington. Ooh, oh yeah. Bye, guys.